Welcome back to the Tidarium Hangar. I do want to say that today's video is going to be sort of a rebuttal to the Spectre Creative, but I do want to say one thing before I say anything else. Gotcha. So, Scott and I look over at Spectre Creative, got everybody with this April Fool's joke, and it did feel a little like a prank when he put his video out that just went viral. Well, not really viral by YouTube standards, but... Then he puts out another video either Saturday or Sunday, whenever, and he literally admits it's an April Fool's joke. But anyway, I'm going to talk about this, and I've got quite a few points to cover here. But I have bigger points that are sort of side points if Mattel ends this, or when they end it. This is a realization, me thinking, what am I going to do if they end Motu? Well, it'll affect Mattel, because I won't be buying anything, and I'll talk about this. Coming up. So when it comes to that first video talking about Motu will end in April, on April 1st or sometime in April. He actually doesn't call out the date then. He says in April. The thing about this is that it kind of felt a lot like The Sixth Sense when you watch Bruce Willis get shot and you're like, oh my gosh, he's dead. The main actor's dead. What's going on here? And then, well, the rest of the movie goes on. And so with that, if you do watch this movie i'm not going to ruin it for you but you'll want to go back and watch this scene all over again at the end of that movie it's just it is a phenomenal movie fantastic movie great movie i see dead toy lines but i do find it odd that i've been planning this video for a couple of weeks to put my video out about the shrinking footprint at retail and a lot of people say that it always shrinks at retail not this much it doesn't shrink this much and to tell you the truth the other like star wars it's already been done shrunk for years so it didn't shrink much more, and then Transformers didn't really shrink. But Motu shrunk way, way, way down. And a lot of that is because it had too many lines and too much going on at one time. I mean, obviously. We also continue to see clearance going on over here. And so with that, I didn't talk about this in my Saturday video either, but this stuff's all clearancing out at Ollie's. Well, it's there at $19.99 with 30% off and 33% off, something like this, with third off. Something along those lines, around $13, and they still... Are stacked to the gills can't move this product and I wonder what they're gonna do are they gonna take it to half off or are they can take them to six bucks each who knows so the big underlying problem is what's gonna happen in the future of Masters of the Universe now we know there's a lot of stuff announced and there's a lot of things in the works but the wise sage that is Spectre Creative Scott Knightley has predicted the end of it in April and so with that a lot of people are in a frenzy because there's a lot of things that have been announced that they really want. And no sign of Keklar, which I didn't know I wanted. It's one of those things you didn't know you wanted until you see it. But also, there's a lot of people that really want a Snake Mountain. Now, I got a vintage Snake Mountain, but I do like the upgrades to this. It's phenomenal. The things that they did with this Snake Mountain are fantastic. And so, people are really in an uproar that they won't be able to get these, and especially not get them at retail if it does end in April. So a lot of people on the internet were really upset about it. Truthfully, I haven't really seen this many people in an uproar about a toy line since uh, G.I. Joe Classified came out with all the issues with the Target exclusives and all that. This, this kind of feels almost to that level of hype. And it's all from Scott making up an April Fool's joke and then admitting to it on, I guess it was Sunday? Was it Sunday? So with that, let's get into telling you exactly why I know he's admitting it to being an April Fool's joke. He basically counted down the days to April 1st. So that's the first thing, 77, 77 days, and then I'll eat crow. And if I'm wrong, then y'all can come at me with pitchforks or whatever he said about being angry at him or making fun of him or laughing at him or whatever on April 1st. And then he said he would love for Masters Universe to stay at retail. Or them to keep producing it. Something along those lines. I, I don't know, paraphrasing here. But he basically said in 77 days. Now that's that's the first kicker there. Which is pretty interesting, actually. It's pretty clever of him to start an April Fool's joke in mid-January. And then let everybody worry about it for whatever reason until April 1st. And then come out with April Fool's on April 1st. So uh, most of the time when you do an April Fool's joke, it's like starts on April 1st and you start in April Fools and then you then you give the punchline at the end April Fools. But you got everybody fooled that day, then you tell them April Fools. It's usually not 
a three month, two and a half month punchline, but he did give you the number of days, and then he said he will eat crow, and then all of this good stuff, basically admitting it's an April Fool's joke. And there's a lot of live streams I've been watching. There's just a ton of people talking about it. And it's kind of funny. It's kind of fun. But a few people have figured it out and said it even in comments on live streams. But there's so many people on these live streams and the comments move so fast. Most people don't see it. But I wasn't the first one to say this. Other people had said it in the past. And uh, in the past couple of days, some people figured it out. It's just an April Fool's joke. Uh, the thing is, is that he's talking about in retailers have the inside track on all this. And yeah, retailers will get information and stuff, but I have never heard of a retailer knowing a line's going to end on a certain date and then just continuing like business as usual. Clearance the old, put out the new, mod set up for this. There's not a mod set in April. There is not a mod set for Walmart or Target in April. It's later. There is one in March, so maybe the March mod set kind of goes away. Then there's one in June. There's not one in April. But none of this really makes sense. And then start talking about April 1st, not April 15th, 22nd, whatever. That doesn't make sense either. Like April 1st is more significant for a prankster, not significant for ending a product line on a Saturday. So another thing that was said was they were going to cancel Masters of the Universe. So it's like Mattel cancels Masters of the Universe. But the thing is, there's other people speculating that there will be a shift and a change in the packaging or a change in the toy line or a change and then they'll still be masters of the universe as if they're gonna stop calling it master of the universe and everything's gonna be branded new attorney or everything's gonna be branded something else and i don't believe that either but you know it's kind of funny that a lot of people were saying that anytime they introduced the line of the snake men into toy line like 2000x evidently that was the demise of that line from what i hear or uh original the original line back in the day and then maybe that's how it went with classics. But that's what some other people are saying. That's an interesting theory out there. But we'll see if Origins and Masterverse have enough staying power to make it through this. Now, if they decide to cancel Masters of the Universe, it doesn't matter if it's 2023, 2024, 2025. I just really don't know what other property of Mattel's I would even buy. Like, I literally don't know one product I'd buy. Well, no, I don't buy Hot Wheels, and I don't buy... Uh, what, Barbies? I mean, I just don't know what Mattel's making. They don't have the DC anymore, which back when they had it, I wasn't collecting DC at all or paying attention to it. So I just don't know what properties or what stuff I'd buy from Mattel if it wasn't Masters of the Universe. Really, I think it's the only thing I buy from Mattel right now is Masters of the Universe. And with Batman stuff, the Batman 66, coming from McFarlane, and McFarlane picking up, McFarlane's picking up quite a bit, actually. So with that, I'm not sure what I would buy from Mattel. And a lot of people say it doesn't really matter. It's not that big to them. It's actually bigger than you think. So the reason that Scott can get away with this April Fool's joke is that Mattel is notorious for going long spans of time without communicating with the customer base. There's not a live stream. Really, I haven't seen a live stream since the Eternia a couple of months back. And there's no plans that I know of for a live stream. And all they do is spring surprise characters on you, like this Frogmonger, out of the blue. We don't even know what a Frogmonger is, and now it's a thing that we all have to fight for on Tuesday. So maybe we can claw one or two or three out in the 30 seconds that will be up. But with that, yeah, they're notorious about not saying anything, revealing some stuff, and then we finally eventually get it, and then... Down the road, way six months later, four or six months later, we finally get some sort of update. Heck, there's not even updates on the new media, the new shows that are coming out and all that kind of stuff. So with that, the brand seems to kind of just flounder for a while. Like, hey, we, we did our one part here and then it flounders for a while. We don't know what's going to show up at retail because distribution is shoddy and it's hit and miss. It's literally you get a wave, you get a wave, you don't get two waves, you might get that next wave, you might not at retail and uh, some people pointed out in the comments that it's feast or famine or it's like an unequal distribution some places get a ton some places get none either a ton or none feast or famine and that kind of stuff and then with that that's really kind of a frustrating thing you could say that happens with all brands but with masters of the universe like you really want to collect one of each and to not have that ability does kind of suck so you're stuck going to bbts entertainment earth and online and all those things 
So the downside to this big practical joke is there's a big possibility Scott's going to lose a little bit of credibility with his viewers, with the customer base, but it sure has caused a heck of a buzz. And with that, I would never just make up something like this knowing it's not true just to be a joke or play a joke. If I were to play a joke on people, it's all in one video. You're going to know by the time it's over it was a joke, but I've never really seen an April Fool's joke just like this before, but but man, it's epic. It really is epic. And so with that, I do want to say that they are going to shift, Mattel's shifting more and more and more to their Mattel creations, which if you think about it, there's no way they're producing the same number for Mattel creations as they would for a full-on retail release, meaning those, yes, are more scarce, and that is going to be so much harder to get those, and you don't have time to think about do you really want it in the long run, aka Koldar, Cold, I still don't have a cold hour, and I'm not paying no 50 bucks for cold hour, so I can live without it. But how do you feel about being April Fool's <laughs> pranked by the old Scott Knightley guru? Toy Guru got you. Got you by Toy Guru. Anyway, like, subscribe to Durham Hanger out.